Hey everyone, this is Vincent, and today we are releasing a new version of Substance 3D Painter, which is the 9.1, if I'm not wrong, with a really cool feature, well, many features, but one that I really like is to drag and drop resources. So before, here I am, I'm going to show you a before after. So this is before updating, and let's say I want to, uh, uh, to import a resource like this one. If I want to do drag and drop when on the model it does not work, uh, if I want to put it on my material, let's say like that, for example, you can't. Um, you have the only way, well, at least the easiest way is to drag and drop in the shelf here um, and define the style. You can say it's a texture and import. So then you can put on the model here, there, uh, there, for example, etc. The, this is not the, the most handy situation. Uh, so let's update and see how it works in the latest version. Okay, so I'm back with the latest version. So you see there is tons of new stuff. So SVG uh, and what for what we want improve uh, drag and drop, also transparency support in the Adobe uh, standard materials, path improvements. Now you have uh, Bezier, uh, you have handles to, to play with the curve and send to After Effects. So, but for now, let's go back to Matt here and let's try the, dra the drag and drop. That's the first time for me as well. So, let me put a fill layer, for example, and let's see where we can drag and drop stuff. So, same image. Oh, I can directly on the model. So, you can say, okay. This is the base color, for example. That's awesome. You can do that. Uh, let's do Ctrl Z. Ah, directly here. That's awesome. So once again, that the kind of small feature that I really like. It, it, it will really save you a lot, a lot of time, in my opinion. So enjoy, update, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.